Shy Day Wilson leads away for Canada. This is a high volume shooter who plays with an undeniable swag and confidence. When the lights are bright, Day Wilson shines. And there's the one thing we know about Shy. She is not shy. <laughs> this woman play. lives for the big stage. All right, Shy. So you rock number 30 because you want to pay tribute to your community. 30 fall staff. That's where you come from. How did your community prepare you and what did the people do for you through your basketball journey? I would just say um, they prepared me for my basketball journey by just filling me with a lot of like love and support. They were there at the last global jam. Just the passion and the grit that, you know, came out of a place like Falstaff. Just me, myself, and I never really had a hard life growing up. You know, my mom gave me everything I kind of wanted. I never wanted for anything. It's just, um, she just really taught me I have to work for what I want, and I mean, I, I think I've been doing that. And people around Falstaff community, um, I was there from when I was a, a young kid, so they just really pushed me to just be tough and just have passion and grit. And like I said, it's a place that, that's where it comes from, so. That toughness is apparent watching you immediately. And I know you had to play against the boys. There just weren't girls hooping at your level. What do you think that gave you? Did that spark sort of a, a confidence, a, you know, like a dog mentality? Because that's a, that's not an easy thing. Yeah, I mean, the confidence comes from within. So I've always been kind of a confident person. Uh, my mom always kind of raised me to be real tough and confident and strong. And playing against the boys, it was like one of those where I knew like, I wasn't gonna really do the best all the time, but it's just like, if I play hard, if I stay with it, and if I be strong and tough, then, I mean, it's just me against the world, kind of. And parents were complaining? Yeah, parents <laughs> were complaining because I was the only girl and I was just like, kind of, I would play good here and there and I would take like a lot of playing time from like their other kids and stuff, so they'd be mad for sure. Oh, come on. I need all the details on going to Drake's house, speak to <laughs> Like, I want everything. I want, like, what, when you walked through that door, was your first thought? Because that house alone is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I mean, just outside, not even when you walk in, it's just outside, all the cars, um, you know, all the cars and nice things. But I mean, he's just a really dope person down to earth. And we played one-on-one, -on -one. it was just, it was really nice, it was really hype. And um, I don't know, just a good vibe. And I really think that he, he's, he's actually not that bad in basketball. You I know, was gonna he's, say, I saw the, the footage, like yeah. it's not terrible. <laughs> like I didn't beat him, it wasn't like a crazy score. It was just like, it, I think the first game I definitely won. It was close though, it was like five to seven and then the next game, like we still have to play that, so. How did that come about? What, like where did that where did that come from? So um, I won freshman of the year um, when I was a you freshman. Did. And then after, um, basically, he was just like, oh, like, you know, I want to see if you're getting whatever. He just like, like, we were talking trash, you are going back and forth talking trash. And then he ended up having some runs because he, he really like, he, he likes to hoop and stuff like that. And then he just like, oh, all right, come out, like pop out or whatever. And then I was just, I went to watch or whatever. And then after he challenged me, he just started checking it up. And I was like, okay, you know, I'm, I'm in sweats and I'm in a shirt, but I never really backed down from one-on-ones. It doesn't matter what gear I'm in. And then I just, we just started playing one-on-one. Was there a huge crowd? Because I feel like there was Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. Was, a, it was a huge crowd. It was, it was a vibe. Yeah, it was a vibe. Dane Wilson is going to be a special player. She already is a special player. And you mentioned ACC Freshman of the Year with Duke. When you think back to that time, uh, your teammates maybe didn't know Canada had this kind of talent. Did you find that? Like, what was, yeah. what was that like? You had to prove them? I mean, that's the thing. Um, it was kind of like a surreal moment because it's like, I don't think a Canadian has ever won that. And just to really just put on for, you know, where I'm from, Fall Staff, and um, not even that, just Toronto in general. It's just, it's, it's really wholesome. Not a lot of people are doing that. And it's just um, putting Canada on the map. It was really nice. So you transferred to Miami, you're joining Tosh again. What about Miami really drew your interest? Um, I would say they had my program and just the coaching style and just it's no better feeling than like playing with some girls that you grew up with. Like um, they have a other few girls on the team that I actually know personally and I grew up with them, played against them. And I mean, it's just really good to just get all of us on the same team. We're all Canadian and just, I mean, make it a movie. Make it a movie. What kind of movie is it going to be? <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> exactly. I want to see the trailer at the very least. That's what I'm saying. You got to get your popcorn and just get ready. Canada takes gold in the first ever Global Jam here in Toronto. You played in the Global Jam. You guys are defending Canadian champions of our inaugural tournament. What does that mean to you? It means a lot. Like I said, it's like no better feeling playing in front of your home crowd. I'm um, wearing the jersey, wearing Canada across your chest. and. 
I mean, playing with this, it's definitely a new team, but I think that we're just practicing every single day, learning new things, getting together with each other. We've never played with each other before, so it's just like we only have a few days to kind of get things going, but I think it should be real good. Um, I'm looking forward to it, and it's no better feeling than this.